Hey guys, welcome back to a very special episode of the Affordable Smart Home. Now, I've already covered a couple of uh, products under the SwitchBot brand. I've covered the actual SwitchBot. And I've also covered the SwitchBot Hub Plus, which was a really versatile product and I really, really like it. In fact, I use it every day. Now, SwitchBot actually sent over another product and something that, honestly, I didn't even think to add in in terms of a range of uh, smart home products in our series. Now, I'm talking about this. So this is the SwitchBot thermometer and hygrometer. So technically, it does two things. So first of all, thermometer, I'm sure everybody knows what it does. It basically shows you or displays the actual uh, temperature in wherever you are, right? Now, hygrometer might not be as commonly known uh, to a lot of people, but basically a hygrometer uh, shows you the percentage of humidity in the area that you are, all right? So you might be wondering why is that important? Uh, well, there are a lot of reasons and I'll go through that later, but talking about the product, so this is the thermometer and hygrometer. Now, just like the other SwitchBot products that we've covered, it's been a breeze to set up, really a breeze to set up. Basically, you take it out of the box. Um, okay, it's powered by two AAA batteries over here, uh, but it comes with a little plastic piece. So just to let you guys know, there's a plastic piece to stop power to going through the device. So basically, you rip it out and it turns on automatically. And once it's there, even before you pair it up with your phone, or with the SwitchBot app, it already turns on and shows you the temperature and the humidity, all right? So all you have to do is just pair it with your phone. Uh, they will just ask you to press the button at the back to basically turn on Bluetooth pairing mode. And yeah, you're right. This is very similar to the actual SwitchBot in the sense that it doesn't actually work outside of your home network. It works on Bluetooth. But however, if you have the Hub Plus, then you can actually uh, get real readings on outside of your home internet, all right? So and if you're wondering what this is, now if you remember the Hub Plus, um, there was a magnetic uh, sticker at the back. This is the same, all right? So this surface, even though it doesn't look it, it's actually magnetic. So you can either stick this onto a wall and you have this over here, or you can just stick this onto a magnetic surface. Absolutely brilliant. But um, back to the setting up, so yeah, real breeze to set up. However, I realized that when I set it up, I needed to update the firmware of my Hub Plus uh, and I don't know why it never asked me uh, to update until I added this. But anyway, I, uh, upgrading the firmware was really, really simple. So not, not a major issue here. So now I want to talk a bit about why you would want this or why you would use it. Um, there are actually a lot more reasons uh, that you would want this more than I actually thought at first. So before that, I was thinking, oh, maybe one or two reasons. But when I got this device, suddenly a lot more uh, ideas came to mind. Now on the box itself, it gives you some examples. One of them is like a wine cellar. I mean, not a lot of us have wine cellars, but that's a good example where your temperature and humidity of your wine storage cellar is really important. So that's one example. But let's, let's, let's look at a bit more practical and more home uh, uses of this. So for me, I, I found the best use for this would be actually my uh, camera dry cabinet, right? So now the dry cabinet actually already tells you the humidity level, uh, which is fine and it's good when I go there and read it. However, uh, and this has actually happened to me a couple of times where I would put my camera in my dry box and then realize that I didn't close it properly and then I would head off out or to work or whatever and then I come back and then I realized that, oh, the humidity level in the box has gone up because the door was open, all right? So how does this help? Now, with this uh, device, the hygrometer part of it, uh, what, what you can do is you can actually set your limit on the app itself. And I say that, oh, okay, so once it goes above 45% humidity, it will send a notification to my phone, all right? So if I was out or about to head out and I, I got a notification on my phone saying that, oh, it's above 45%, I would know that, oops, I probably forgot to uh, close the dry box and I can just go there and close it. Very simple and it's really helpful because once the humidity level increases in the dry cabinet, it takes a really long time for it to go down again. Um, but yeah, so that's one use that I really appreciated for this device. Now, if you're not into media and you don't have a lot of cameras, there are still other uses. Basically anything where humidity or temperature is important, um, this would be a really useful device. Now, everyone, almost everyone at home has a refrigerator, right? And just like the dry cabinet, I have forgotten to properly close the fridge door as well. So yeah, 
you can put this in the refrigerator as well it, it will it will be okay in the fridge however um i didn't test it in the freezer and i would not recommend putting it in the freezer all right but yeah in the fridge it was fine just to, i left the door open a bit and once it went above a certain temperature i know that oh okay so it detected that the temperature increased and i could close it now one thing i do want to to note um i think it's pretty obvious but just in case it's not um this reads the temperature and reads the humidity in percentage it does not change the temperature neither does it affect the humidity right so it's just sort of like a meter reading it doesn't change anything it's not a thermostat okay so the big question here should you buy this um, if you have something in the house where humidity levels and temperature is really important, well, then yeah, definitely. I mean, I actually couldn't find this on Lazada. No one's selling it on Lazada at the moment. However, um, on the Switchbot website itself, it only comes in at about $25. So if you have something like me, like if I have a dry cabinet uh, and not wanting to uh, ruin thousands of dollars worth of equipment, $25, definitely a steal. I would buy in a heartbeat. And in fact, I would buy it for a couple of things. I would buy it for my fridge as well. Um, and actually, another good reason, although I didn't speak about it earlier, was if you have a child or, or like a baby and in the room, you can actually monitor the temperature of the room as well. And then if it gets too cold or too warm, you can just adjust it. So another really good use. Now, one of the best features about this is not just that it's a thermometer and a hygrometer, but if you go to the SwitchBot app uh, and you go into the settings of this device, now you're actually going to see a graph uh, in terms of your temperature and your humidity levels. And you can actually choose between hour, day, I think even week and month, which is very impressive. So you see like a, like a graph chart and it shows you like the, the, the change in temperature and the change in humidity and not just that. Now, if you scroll down, you can actually export the data into a CSV file, all right, which is sort of like a Excel file where you can actually document uh, and keep track of the changes in temperature and humidity, which is excellent if you're in a position where you're in, you need to check the temperature and you need to check uh, the changes in the temp temperature and humidity. That's an excellent feature and well done SwitchBot for thinking of this. So for me, again, SwitchBot, really, really well done. You're looking at a product here that not a lot of manufacturers make. Uh, so like my previous videos where I said about SwitchBot, they, they make really good products to sort of fill the gap uh, where smart homemakers don't really think about or don't really bother about. So good job, SwitchBot. I've been really impressed. And for $25, it's excellent build quality. It doesn't feel light. It's a really good solid build, well, basically like every other SwitchBot uh, product that I've covered. So. That about wraps up this review. If you like this video, you know what to do. And I would love it if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications on our next video. I'm JP, and I'll see you real soon.